Welcome back to The Truth with Trinity, and I am your host, Trinity, and if this is your first time tuning into the podcast, I wanted to send you a warm welcome. Here, I talk about issues that happen within the Black community, hopefully for some resolution or at least some food for thought to go about your daily way. So, without further ado, I'd like to jump into this episode's topic, which is, this is how we gonna riot in 2021. So, Our predecessors, so the people before us, they marched because they wanted to be heard. They wanted the right and privilege to vote. They fought for uh, a right to equal education. They fought for equal housing opportunities. And let's face it, it wasn't legal for them to even be seen in society. So for them to walk throughout America on the streets non-violently was a very big statement, very big, bold statement. And as our predecessors were hurt and frustrated at the injustices that we too in 2021 are um, frustrated and some of us are hurt, um, this is how we gonna riot. This is the rioting plan in 2021. So instead of burning down buildings, cars, breaking in shops and convenience stores, um, so that our elderly and uh, you know people without vehicles have to travel further out to shop. This is this is this is how you you hit their pockets. You you open up your own businesses in your own communities, okay, and you make it to where the black brothers and sisters that open up shop and the communities feel safe enough to do so because they're not going to get robbed, okay, by their own people. OK, so so we as black people, um, if we don't have a business, we don't need to be envious or jealous of the person that opened up their own business. We need to congratulate them. And if if maybe so partnership with them or open up and save and plan to open up businesses of our own. Another way you want to show the system of America, uh, you, you, you want to to impact their pockets. So instead of creating fire and damage, you tell the system, no, not today. My name is not on the roster for a criminal conviction. No, it's not. So you're not going to make money on my head by giving me a, a possible conviction. Also, you want to hit them in their pockets? No, I'm not, I'm not going to jail. You know, half of our people are not going to be in jail. The half of the population uh, of black people, you know, are behind bars, especially our black men, you know, uh, so that that's one of the ways that we're going to hit their pockets. Another thing is uh, us young black sisters, you know, and to the young black sisters. No, I don't need housing uh, federal government um, because um, I'm a teenage mother. Yeah, I can survive as a teenage mother. Survive, but no, I'm too busy getting my education and to see how I can better our people. So I'm out, I'm out here, um, you know, looking into entrepreneurship or um, whatever I choose to be. But I don't need that public assistance. Black man, you can hit the system by saying, no, my child's mother, she's not giving my information up for welfare or child support because that's my wife. It's not my baby mama. It's my wife. So we're in the house together where we, you know, we've got a double income together. We're working together. Um, my child doesn't need daycare assistance because, you know, one of the parents is at home anyway, um, you know, back and forth, splitting it in between each other. Um, so we don't need you in our business. Tired of being exploited on television. Our children having, you know, some of the lower statistics in education. Nope. We can we can eliminate that by teaching our children ourselves. So when they do go to school, that's just an extra layer um, of education with the teachers facilitating the knowledge. But we're at home spending time with our children. So less rap, less um, leisure and actually taking the time and the years to to cultivate and um, educate them. Um, so these are some of the ways that we can fight back um, because it, it's not a, a, 
so much of a physical thing. Um, it's a it's a mental thing. So we need to learn as a people how to fight back mentally. And on top of that, we don't want to give the system a, a, a reason if they haven't already to pass legislative laws to put in motion to justify to be able to murder us by the masses if we you know choose to go out there and um you know get violent um you know with rioting so these are just some of the pointers i wanted to bring out you know this is how we can make a change this is how you know we can impact um you know the society is by thinking independently oh and another thing is too when it comes to the cops in our neighborhood before they even step their foot on the concrete we can say no we don't need your assistance why because we're, we're not out here uh, on the streets our black men are not out in the streets hanging out looking suspicious because they're too busy taking care of their wife and children they're too busy at work they're too busy together um, black men being together focusing on ways that they can better their community so there, and, and domestic violence, no, we, we're not making a big commotion or a scene because we're, we're learning how to independently think and to handle things for ourselves. And we can create a peaceful environment in our own neighborhoods. And then we can start calling our hoods neighborhoods because we can be a neighbor to each other. So that pretty much wraps up this segment. It's been a pleasure talking with you. If you'd like to get in contact with me, if you have any questions or suggestions, you can at thetruthwithtrinity.com. You can listen to me on YouTube, Spotify, or Anchor. And always remember, if you can't tell the truth with anyone else, you can with Trinity. Till next time, take care.